Hi guys, Merlin Silva here with a really, really quick tip today about uh, swapping out audio when you're using the arrangement view. Uh, now the reason I'm going to bring this up is because I often read some discussions online about whether it's better to use audio or drum racks or MIDI when you're composing drums and there's arguments for both sides and personally I find I do a bit of both depending on what the project is. However, uh, there's a lot of discussion about um, when you're using pure audio, you're kind of committed to the samples that you choose and it makes it very, very hard to go back and swap, uh, for example, your kick drum. Uh, whereas with a drum rack or MIDI, that's uh, very, very easy with an Ableton Live to hot swap through different samples. Now, however, there is actually a way to do the same when you're working with audio, and uh, I was really, really inspired by finding this. I thought I'd just share it with you today. So here I've got one of my projects, uh, a track that I wrote quite a while ago, and uh, we'll just have a quick listen. Cool, and as you can see down here, these are uh, the kick drum here is an audio file, so I haven't used a drum rack. Uh, and I've done a lot of kind of editing, and uh, there's a lot of automation you can see, I've turned things on and off, blah blah blah. But uh, so you would think at this point I'm kind of stuck with this sound, but there is actually a sneaky way within Ableton Live to swap this out. So, what we do, we're going to click on any one of the drum hits and uh, I'll just solo it for now. And you'll see here uh, in the in the detail, we can see the name of the sample that we're using, Jim Jim, uh, yeah. So what you can do now is right click here and click on Manage Sample File. This brings up a similar dialogue to if there's a missing files in your set. And here we can see, uh, there's the kick that I've been using. Now very, very slim simply, I can now go into my browser and I could find a different kick that I want to work with. Uh, so in this example, da, 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 let's take one of Grouch's kicks. Let's just use this one. So a drag and drop from the browser onto there, and you'll see every single one of these hits has now been replaced with that kick. And so I can undo that. Excellent. And obviously this is going to work for uh, any sound that you've got, crashes, hats, hits, uh, absolutely anything. In fact, it can be quite interesting to open up old projects and swap all the audio out for something random and just see if uh, you get something new out of it. So yeah, that's that. Uh, using, again, the manage uh, sample file option here and then dragging and drop from your browser into there, you'll be able to replace all the audio on the timeline with keeping all of your automation and details and micro edits intact. So that's it for me. Hope that was useful. Thanks a lot.